Hello, my name is Alicia. Welcome to my channel. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've actually cooked or anything. Um, back in 2020, I was getting quite a few like HelloFresh or every plate kind of things, but they were honestly getting too expensive at $60 a week. Uh, so I've kind of basically canceled those. Although they send you crazy deals all the time. I would say not a week or almost day goes by that HelloFresh or every plate or whatever it's called um, doesn't send me some crazy deal to come back. Um, but $60 a week is just too much. Um, it's a nice treat once in a while. And I could just go on and do one week a month. Um, I could go down to two meals instead of three a week, but it honestly equals out because um, the more you order, the better price you get. So I don't want the mental space taken up by trying to remember to skip weeks or select meals. So anyway, I took a break, but if you, at least our target, if you go to target, target in their meat section, if your target has like a, um, like a miniature grocery store, um, they have meal kits and they range from like $15 to $20. I will say most of them seem to be $17.99 or $19.99, which costs basically the same amount as if I went to HelloFresh. So this is what we're doing. I think it's called, I think the brand is Local Crate. And this is Indian butter chicken with jasmine rice. Now I will say, I don't feel like they get new ones very often. I will say, I think they generally have the same four to five. Um, which is okay for me because I don't do them very often. So this is what it looks like. And I don't know if I've done a Target meal box. If I have, it's been quite a bit of time. So let's kind of explore together. In here, I can see the directions. So I think, do I have to cut this? No. So this says ready in 35 to 40 minutes. It makes two servings. And then they give you a huge recipe card, which if you know from my other past food videos, I appreciate a big card. Um, so it looks like it gives you step-by-step, -step, or actually it's not really so big, this stuff's just pictures. Um, so they give you a step-by-step -step, um, how to do this. And then everything you need is here in this box. So we have an onion, we have the rice. Fingers crossed, I can actually get this rice to cook. Um, I have tried the Tupperware rice cooker. I don't do that. When I, I follow the directions verbatim when I cook rice on the stove, it rarely comes out right. Um, so let's hope the rice can come out. Looks like we have a little bit of butter, uh, miscellaneous spices, looks like parsley. I don't know, parsley maybe, I don't know and then some garlic. But I like how everything comes um, packaged, chicken breast, uh, it's like sour cream. So everything you need is here. So let's get started. All right, so the first step in the directions says to read everything thoroughly. I've already failed because I'm just starting with step number one, but it says marinate the chicken. And that's why I'm sort of skipping that step is because it wants the chicken to marinate for 10 to 15 minutes. And so once I get this started to marinate, then I will go back and kind of read through all of the things. So as with any meal plan, I always feel like this is never going to make enough. This doesn't look like much chicken, but it always turns out okay. And it always turns out to be more than I thought it would be. All right, so the first thing in the marinade of the chicken is to cut the chicken breast into, it says like inch cubes. I will say there's more fat on here than I would like. Um, I think I've gotten spoiled with the other places, you know, basically giving you already trimmed meat. Even like when I buy it at the store, it rarely comes with fat. So not that that's a huge deal, but you have to spend time doing it. So it says inch pieces. So I don't know. I'm just going to cut it in chunks. I don't feel like it has to be necessarily precise. I'm going to throw them in my bowl. That bowl belonged to my mom. Um, she liked to get pottery pieces. Um, she had a friend that did pottery. Um, so I have a lot of her pieces that I use to cook with. And I just, don't, I don't know, it makes me think of her. I guess I feel closer to her. So I like um, that I have some of her things to cook with. Um, she passed when I was 21. All right, I'll be back. All right, for the marinade for the chicken, it says to add the yogurt, which I assume is this. And 
I also noticed that there's like some different terms. Like when it gets to cooking the rice, it says uh, heat until shimmering. And so I would not have no idea what that means. And so I like that on the side, it has cooking terms. So it tells you that shimmering means oil, it takes a shiny, glistening and flowy texture. So I like that they're kind of thorough. They don't assume that you know everything. So making sure I get all the yogurt in. And then it wants you to add half of the butter chicken seasoning, which I, again, I assume is this. So I'm just kind of gonna spot, shake some in and then mix that up. So I don't think I would ever have an Indian butter chicken, not that I'm aware of, although I've been to like Indian buffets, so I could have had it and not known it. Um, but it smells really good already. So there is my chicken. I'm gonna let it marinate and I will start the next step. All right, so it says to julienne this onion. Um, it does tell me what julienne means. I do appreciate that they have a word like dictionary. I also appreciate that each of the ingredients is in bold. But for a julienne, it says to cut in thin strips. So I don't really know. I've only cut them in kind of one way. I think the strips would kind of go this way, but I also don't feel like it really matters if or how the onions cut. I don't necessarily like big strips of onion. So I think if I was doing it, there's probably a more proper technique. If I left it like this, they would be in strips. I don't like big chunks of onion. So I do feel like with any of these um, food boxes that you can, sometimes you have the liberty to kind of do what you need to do. Um, so because I like onions in smaller pieces, I don't really think smaller onions is going to take away from it. I could be wrong. There were a couple times where I took the liberty to change things and it was definitely a mistake. So this could be one of them, I don't know. But I do feel like with these food boxes, you do have a little wiggle room where you can make it your own, take something out, add something to it. Um, so just know I'm not a chef. I really don't know what julienne means. And I don't like big pieces of onion. So that's why I sort of went off the grid here. Um, and this was cilantro, I guess. I think I should have known cilantro, but I wasn't thinking. Um, and now it's been so long since I did the video. Somebody had a good tip on how to do cilantro, but now I don't remember that tip because it's been so long since I did one of those videos. Um, and I am now almost crying because of the onion. But let's see, what does it want us to do to the cilantro? Probably cut it up. Oh, actually, maybe not. It kind of looks like in the picture, they're big leafy pieces. So maybe I don't need to do anything with that. Ugh, let's, I'll be back. All right, so I think the recipe wanted leaves. I also cut some up. I would never have guessed cilantro was in an Indian dish. I guess that tells you what I know. I just know I like Indian food. I don't really know what goes into it. So they have garlic. Very thankful that they've already peeled it. So I have my garlic crust. And so I like, makes that easy. I will just brush it off, off to the side here. Another reason I kind of stopped doing the HelloFresh and stuff, besides the fact that it's expensive, is it was too much. Like three in one month, one week was too much. Some nights I don't come home, I come home and I don't feel like doing like a full on gourmet. And then I kind of did feel pressure to film them, which I know I shouldn't, but anyway, I did. And so I don't know. It just stopped being fun after a while. So I think honestly, the Target ones are kind of a solution to that problem in the fact that I can pick one up when I want. There's no commitment, there's no whatever. And then I can, you know, it's more of a like, you know, I want to show you guys, I want to do it kind of a thing. So anyway, let's get on to the rice. Hopefully I can make the oil shimmer. I'm not sure I've ever tried that before. All right, so I have the oil warming up. Shimmering, oil obtained a shiny glistening look and flowy texture, like water as it coats the bottom of the pan. Never ever heard of oil shimmering. So we will give this a few minutes and see what happens. All right, so I think that fits the bill as far as shimmering goes. So at the same time, I think it's wanting me, it could be at different stages, but anyway, it's wanting me to saute the rice 
and the onions. So let's go ahead and put the rice in. And it said, what did it say for the rice? A pot. This is, uh, it says a medium pot. This is like the only pot I have. So hopefully that works. I almost feel like maybe the pot is not big enough, but I don't know. I don't normally saute rice, so I have no idea. And then let's put the onion in. Which there's no sizzle, so I don't know. It looks like it had met the conditions of shimmering. Let's see. So then we're basically supposed to let that cook for a while. So you can probably hear it now. Let's see, add rice and saute until lightly toasted and aromatic. One to two minutes. In all honesty, we've probably already gotten to the one or two minute mark. I will say I'm not a fan of this large amount of onion. My daughter doesn't like onion either. So I almost want to leave the onion out. I may try to split it in half and kind of do like half with onion, half without. My husband likes onion. I would eat it if it was in there, but I would, my goal is now anymore is to have my daughter eat everything we eat within reason. Um, so I really don't want to give her any reason to not eat it. Um, and that's an awful lot of onion. But I'm not sure what will happen here. I'll probably try to pick them out at the end. I also like these recipe cards because they put you out of your comfort zone. Um, like a lot of my recipes from HelloFresh, I had to caramelize onions and oh my gosh, they are so good on burgers. I also learned a, a, um, a tip for putting sour cream and like mashed potatoes it was so, so good. All right, I definitely sense what they mean by when the rice gets aromatic. It is definitely starting to smell really good. I really wish there was smell of vision. Now I'm gonna follow this rice recipe to the T and maybe that will help me. But in general, my rice comes out overcooked or undercooked. And so it says add a one and a cup, fourth cups of water and a pinch of salt and bring to a boil and then um, reduce the heat. So I have exactly one and a fourth cups of water. I need to do a pinch of salt which for mine is just a shake. And boy, it is, I would say boiling, or it got really feisty there for a minute. So I would say it's boiling, in my opinion, it's bubbling. So it says put the lid on it um, and reduce the heat. Now, should I be stirring the rice? Should I let it sit and do its thing and not touch it? Like I, That's where I guess I don't know. And maybe that's where I mess it up in that I often open it and stir it. And maybe that is uh, the problem. So I don't know. And then how far do you reduce it down? I guess is the next question. So fingers crossed this will work out. Um, to the onions, you're gonna add the chicken and like the garlic and stuff. Like I said, I also went rogue. I cut up a little cilantro. Why not? I guess. I don't know. So I'm going to add, throw that in as well. This smells really good. So this is making me miss actually the cooking boxes. Um, I will say they are definitely more messy than the things I normally make and equal a lot more dishes being cleaned. But anyway, it is still fun. Something different. All right, so the onions are fully cooked and now it wants to us to add the chicken mixture in. So we will do so. I will say this is one recipe that might not be able to get recreated because the seasonings just say like Indian seasonings or whatever they call them. So I would have to look up a recipe with um, seasonings. What does this say? Yeah, this just says butter chicken spice blend. So I don't know what that is. So a lot of the recipes, um, at least on like HelloFresh and stuff, you can mostly re recreate. The only time you can't is when I do this like whole like Southwest spice blend. What is that? Um, so 
but this is looking good. My husband came out of his office kind of sniffing the air, so I think he's excited. Um, I'm excited, so anyway. Next step is to add the tomato paste. All right, so I added the tomato paste and we're supposed to leave that in there until it's like a darker color. And then there are some more ingredients to add. I'm really hoping the, white, the rice comes out. I don't really think you can have butter chicken without rice. But I'm excited about this. Now I will say another one of these things with the meal boxes um, is that now that my daughter's six and she's eating with us, I don't know. Like I still really not convinced that this would come out to three portions. Um, and I would, the, at least the amount of chicken, I feel like barely looks like enough for my husband and I, but I'm sure the rice will bulk it up. So next up, we are supposed to add two cups of water. So let me get that. So I added the water and let's see what's next. It says scrape any of the little stuff off the bottom in. I think the pan kind of, you know, a little, whatever you call that, like gravy or giblets or I don't know what you call it. But those add, I would think, a tasty kind of flair to it. So it says bring this to a boil. So I'll turn up the heat and it says add some pepper and salt. So this is looking yummy. All right, last few steps. So we're gonna add the butter. They gave you two little pats of butter. And I want you to fold that in. And then two containers of sour cream. So we have the sour cream. And some more sour cream. I think the rice is okay. I kind of stirred it. If anything, it's a little crisp, um, but it's definitely not overdone. So fingers crossed that that comes out okay. But this is looking yummy. I think in the picture it was a little more orange. So I don't know whether that butter and sour cream will kind of like make it a little more orange. So far it's more red than the picture. So here's our final plating. It looks really good. The rice came out fine. I can already tell you it's spicy for me, so I think I'll add some more sour cream and I'll be back with final thoughts. All right, so we finished the Indian butter chicken or however you say that, and it was really good. My husband loved it, but my husband loves spicy. It was spicy. I had to dump a bunch of light sour cream in there to kind of even it out. And even then I couldn't finish my portion because it was too spicy for me. And I guess that might be obvious to anybody who knows <laughs> butter, butter chicken. I had no idea it would be spicy. I assumed it would be something like we get at the Indian restaurant uh, that for me is not spicy. But again, I didn't know what it was called. But it was really good. Happy I tried it. Thanks for watching.